Hi guys, my name's Cod from Wise Adventures, and today I'll be showing you the main ores you'll be needing in your Minecraft life. So, these ores are just going to be found in caves and different stuff, but for today I've sort of laid them out as you see in a row to show you the different types. So, this is the first one. Now, this is the Nether Quartz Ore, and the Nether Quartz Ore is actually only found in the Nether, and in order to teleport to the Nether, you'll need a portal. But you know what? For now, I'm not really going to tell you how to do the portal, because we'll do that in another video. <laughs> so, next, you're going to be on the Emerald Ore. Now, as I want to say again, these ores are found through different caving systems. Now, you won't always find one, and it'll be just kind of tricky to find each and every one of them so through searching and different things like that you'll be able to sometimes come upon them and then it'll be like a prize so this is the emerald or the emerald can be used uh, for not too too many things but for example you can trade with villagers and there are a few opportunities for it the next is redstone. Now redstone again is an ore that you have to search for, but this is a pretty important ore since it has a large, a large opportunity and it actually can power your Minecraft machinery as well as light up the area that you're working in. Now the next, the famous diamond ore. This again is a very hard ore to find and if you click F3 on your keyboard and you try to look for your Y coordinates which is just on the lower half you have to make sure that the Y coordinate is at 11 and below 11 in order for these to be able to spawn so once again with a click of F3, F3 you'll be open to this and then again to close it just another tap of F3 now Coal, again, a very important ore necessity for your Minecraft world and to succeed in your Minecraft world. Now this is a coal which is uh, an ore that which is able to be used in order to burn different ores and smelt and so on. So make sure that you try to find some of these on your way. The next one is Lapis Lazuli Ore. Now this ore is more so a dye and isn't able to make any weaponry, but if you'd like to color your clothing, this is a good choice for you. So, the also very famously known in Minecraft, the Iron Ore. Now this is going to help you build weaponry, uh, armor, everything. It'll help you build blocks and so on. So make sure that while you're in the caving system, you look out for this yellowish brownish ore. And finally, the gold. The gold is great. It also helps you build armors and weapons, as well as some other blocks and other things. If you know of any other ores and want me to describe them or tell you how to use them, then comment that below. But this has been the main ores of Minecraft, so I hope you enjoyed. My name's Colin from Wise Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.